In this video, we are going to talk about 10 things you didn't know about 5 guys. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Number 10. There are no timers in the kitchens at 5 guys. In any kitchen, there are a lot of things to keep care of. But take a good look at any 5 guys kitchen and you can because they're all open and you'll discover that timers aren't one of them. The explanation for this is simple. According to founding father Jerry Morrill, who told NBC News that competent cooks know when a burger is done. Those burgers are also skinny for a reason, which dates back to Five Guys' early days. The initial burgers they tried were thicker, but due to the prolonged cooking durations, they dried up before they could be served. Thinner burgers provided them with the flavor and texture they desired, thus thinner burgers it will always be. Number 9. Five Guys refuses to deliver, even to the Pentagon. Receiving a phone call from the government to place an order would send any eatery into a frenzy, but Morrill refused to deliver 15 burgers to the Pentagon when five guys received the call. He told QSR, we've never had a delivery service. We don't think it's true. We believe it devalues the product. They not only refused, but also displayed a large banner outside their Arlington location that read, absolutely no delivery. Risky? Yes, absolutely. The Pentagon's 26,000 employees made up a significant portion of their clientele, yet it worked. According to reports, business from the Pentagon increased by roughly 20% as a result of their rejection, and President Barack Obama reportedly paid a visit in 2009. When a Five Guys employee offered mailing the new President a t-shirt after he was sworn in, Morrill flatly declined, exclaiming, that's cheap. Image courtesy of NBC News, Obama, it turns out, wanted a burger rather than a shirt, because he turned there anyhow. Number 8. Haters hate the buns, but five guys went to insane lengths for them. If there is ever a complaint about five guys, it is generally about the state of the buns. They're a little squishy, but that's by design. According to NBC News, the buns were from Brenner's Bakery in Alexandria, which was a favorite of Morrill's wife Janie. They created an eggier, sweeter bun for the new restaurant, and when they closed, Five Guys began creating their own buns. They couldn't maintain creating the same sweet buns in their small bakery as they grew, so they started contracting out, with Morrill's youngest son, Tyler, overseeing some very stringent regulations. Those buns, according to franchisee owner Tom Horton, are a huge expense. Those who adore them, on the other hand, will find that they are well worth the effort. Number 7. There are a few secrets to how Five Guys gets their french fries right. Five Guys, According to Chad Morrill, Via Food Republic, receives all of its potatoes from Idaho, and only from north of the 42nd parallel. They buy so many that they account for 5% of all potato sales in the state. They only use Washington state potatoes for two months of the year, when the growing season requires it. They give the raw potatoes a three-minute power wash after hand-cutting them to remove the excess starch. They're pre-cooked for two and a half minutes before cooling for 10 minutes to several hours. They're finished in the fryer for another two or three minutes after they've been ordered, shaken off exactly 15 times, and presented to the diners. Chad also claims that they use peanut oil to try to make their fries healthier, but that the quantity they serve is what drives up the calorie count. If you have an excess of fries, Chad recommends taking them home and turning them into hash browns. Number 6. Five Guys is notoriously unhealthy, but you can find less intense options. If you're searching for a healthy lunch choice, no one in their right mind recommends Five Guys. Their bread alone has 260 calories and 9 grams of fat, according to their nutritional statistics. However, there are a few healthier alternatives, and the Washingtonian looked into what your best options are. If you're not in the mood for a hamburger, try their veggie sandwich. It's not a veggie burger, but it's a grilled bun with their vegetable toppings, such as mushrooms and peppers. That'll still put you over 400 calories, but the Food Network blog suggests going with a burger. Order a bunless, little burger. If you leave out the mayo and bacon, but pile on some of their other toppings like tomatoes, onions, lettuce, and jalapeno peppers, you'll only consume approximately 220 calories, and 17 grams of fat. Number 5. Those peanuts at Five Guys aren't going away anytime soon. You probably know someone who suffers from a peanut allergy, which can be fatal. According to the Peanut Institute, around 4% of adults and 4% of children have severe food allergies, with tree nuts including peanuts accounting for 90% of those allergic reactions. 
since at least 1997, the number of cases has progressively increased, making it astonishing that not only does Five Guys continue to offer guests peanuts to chew on while they wait, but they also utilize peanut oil exclusively. Their dietary guide includes allergy information, and their fries are labeled as containing peanut and peanut oil ingredients. Five Guys says they have no plans to change any of their methods since doing so would jeopardize the brand they've worked so hard to develop over the years. Instead, they claim that they make certain that there are lots of warnings placed warning anyone with peanut allergies to stay away. They also claim that the risk of an allergic response is one of the reasons they don't let individuals bring peanuts outside. Number 4. Five Guys was ruled as the fastest growing restaurant chain in the US. Sometimes, like with Five Guys and their decision to franchise, you can look back on a single decision and know it was the right one. They grew by an incredible 792% between 2006 and 2012. Via Forbes. When you compare them to their closest competitor over the same time span, it's even more astounding. When compared to Five Guys, Jimmy John's achieved a still impressive 241% growth rate. That's insignificant. Their initial effort into franchising was a huge success as well. According to their own website, when they first began offering franchise opportunities, they attracted national notice and sold over 300 franchise choices in just 18 months. They kept rising, and in 2012, they crossed the $1 billion revenue mark and now they're global. Number 3. There really are more than 250,000 ways to order at Five Guys. Five Guys claims that there are over 250,000 different ways to order a burger. That sounds like a boast from the marketing department, but if you do the math, there are actually more than that many distinct burger choices. But 250,000 is such a nice sounding figure, we'd go with it. With six burger alternatives, including various sizes, cheese variations, and a plethora of toppings, it's a dream come true for those who want variety and a challenge for those who prefer to complete tasks. Number 2. Five Guys was the first fast food chain to get Coca-Cola freestyle machines. As if all the burger combinations weren't enough, Five Guys has a machine that does for you what you used to like doing for yourself. Mixing a little bit of each soda flavor at the machine to create your own mix and match drink. Five Guys was the first fast food chain to install Coca-Cola freestyle machines, according to Consumerist. Their improvements began in 2011, and they were completed in all 156 of Five Guys company-owned locations. They've only grown in popularity, and it's understandable why. Who wants a plain Coca-Cola when you can have a Coke Zero with lemon, lime, or raspberry, or nearly any Powerade flavor you can think of? Some are hits, some are misses, but you'll always have something fresh, according to Serious Eats, which evaluated 127 different Coke varieties. Number 1. Their prices at Five Guys can change based on the market and location. If you go to McDonald's, for example, you know how much you'll spend on your usual before you get there. That isn't the situation at Five Guys, where Moral is open about the fact that the prices of their burgers can and will vary. Some of his franchisees wanted to stop using tomatoes after storms badly damaged that year's crop, he told Inc. When tomato prices jumped after hurricanes severely damaged that year's crop, he told Inc. that some of his franchisees wanted to stop using them. He even considered decreasing costs, but his boys indicated they'd rather pay more than worse quality. From a business standpoint, Pricing according to the market is ideal, but it is not always popular with customers. When the first Five Guys opened in Belfast, Ireland, guests said it was a good burger. But it shouldn't be several dollars more expensive than the same burger in America. Five Guys justified the price increase by blaming the cost of ingredients and the fact that UK pricing contain a 20% surcharge. In a 2015 study by Business Insider, their American customers said the same thing with millennials in particular stating their burgers weren't worth the money. What do you think about our video? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications before you go. Thanks for watching.